Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan Ash and today I wanted to share the most amazing UI trick that I learned that you can do in Final Fantasy XIV. I actually learned this from someone in the game, but then found out Zeppla HQ had a video with a snippet of this. I'll link her video down below. I wanted to put this dedicated video out because I want players to know that there is another way than just having a super busy UI and this is something I'm so grateful for because I am a little OCD organization when it comes to my UI. And I know there's more people out there that are like that, that are just like me and I didn't know about this until recently and hopefully I can help put this information out there for others to learn and also make their gaming experience better too. This UI trick actually utilizes the macro system. I know when I say macro, some players get overwhelmed because they think it's really complex, but I was that way when I first started playing. All you need to know is macros is 98% of the time about quality of life improvements for your gameplay and rarely used in battle content in terms of using to activate skills. Jumping over to my UI screen, if you look in the bottom right, I have two hotbars set up, which are my main used hotbars, and I put things on those that I'm currently working on. As I am mainly doing crafting content right now, I have all my crafters down on one hotbar with my main battle classes I'm leveling and my gatherers. I'm not going to clock any of the other <laughs> YouTubers UI setup because ultimately it is what makes you most comfortable. But some of these UIs out there give me a little anxiety with how much they have directly on their screen at all times. For me, this just stems from having poor eyesight and a small screen, so this really helps improve my gameplay when I'm playing through Final Fantasy XIV. I will be showing you this on PC. If you are playing on a controller, be aware that hotbars and cross hotbars are different. You can access your cross hotbars with a controller, but cannot access hotbars with a controller unless you enable the mouse pad on your controller. I think the next few videos I'm going to start working on is a controller guide for specific jobs and comment down below which jobs you want to see me do. I will probably start with Black Mage as that's my main, but really looking forward to putting out a controller guide because I feel like a lot more people play with controller than one might think. Okay, next, you'll want to go into settings and enable the hotbars. I have chosen the last four, hotbar 7, 8, 9, and 10. Make sure that on hotbar one, you click the lock button. A lot of people get stuck here on the drag and drop because hotbar one has a lock button next to it. This is the drag and drop feature for all 10 hotbars. So if you are unable to move emotes, skills, or items, most likely you didn't click the lock button to unlock all 10 hotbars. So make sure you do that or you will get stuck like most of the people out there and like I did when I first started doing this. Next, you'll go over to the sharing tab. These hotbars are selected to be shared, which means they're going to be shared between all of your jobs that you switch between. If you don't have other jobs and you're just working on one, then this isn't really a big deal, but I would click it anyway so then when you do get new jobs, you don't have to set up things twice. What you're going to do is start on HUD layout one. This will be your main layout for all of your jobs. You can play around with this, like I have a layout for DPS and healers since I need different things when I'm playing different roles. Once you have HUD layout one created the way you want, you will then click over to HUD layout two. This is going to be your main menu where you're going to put hot bars that you've enabled for sharing on here and put pretty much everything under the sun that you might think you need for your gameplay. As an example, I put all of my hot bars in a single line row on top of each other and also resize them so they're a little bit bigger. Once you get them exactly where you want and what you want to be showing on this main menu, then you can start dropping everything. So put some jobs, put some items, maybe some mounts that you want to have access to when you're doing certain stuff. Everything you need will go on this main menu and you will leave your last hotbar, hotbar 10, to be your HUD layout one toolbar. Once you got everything set up, you will then create your macro. 
I have a purple crystal represented as the icon for the action HUD layout too. This means when I click on this icon, it will switch me over instantly to HUD layout 2, which will be my main menu. Once you have that created, you will drop it on hotbar 10. You will then create another macro, a go back macro, which I have represented with an arrow to the left. This will be your button or icon in order to get back to HUD layout one. So once you do anything you need to do in the main menu, you'll go back to your main layout, which will then allow you to continue playing content. With this, you are completed with the setting up of the UI trick. Again, this is so customizable. You can literally create anything you want with endless possibilities. This is the best thing that I learned in Final Fantasy XIV to make my quality of life and UI organization a million times better. If you end up doing this, take a screenshot and send it to me so then I can see all your super cool transformations that you did for your UI organization. I hope this video helps you integrate this into your UI for all my clean UI friends out there. This is an absolute game changer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.